This is the fifth video in our series looking at how to set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. In our previous video, we configured a Google Nest Wi-Fi router with a Google Nest Wi-Fi point to create a mesh network to extend the wireless range of our home network. So for this video, we're going to demonstrate how we can repurpose a first generation Google Wi-Fi router by integrating it into our new mesh network. Before we start, we should point out that our first generation Google Wi-Fi router has already been reset back to its factory defaults. It's also worth noting that Google recommend that you do not use more than five Wi-Fi points within a single mesh network. In order to add a first generation Google Wi-Fi router to our new Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network, we first need to ensure that the Google Wi-Fi router is powered on and we have placed it close to our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Next, we need to open the Google Home app. As you can see, we've already set up a mesh network using a Google Nest Wi-Fi router and point. So if we select the Add icon, we are presented with the Add and Manage panel. Under Add to Home, we now need to select Setup Device. When the Setup panel is displayed, we're going to choose the option Set up New Devices. We're now asked to choose a home. However, as we've already created a home for our Google devices, we will simply select Next. The Home app will now look for any new devices that it can see and then list those devices. As you can see, our first generation Google Wi-Fi router has been detected and is being displayed at the top of our list. Let's select it and choose Next. The Google Home app will now prepare our existing mesh network. In order to connect our Google Wi-Fi router to our mesh network, we will need to enter its setup key. The setup key can be found on the bottom of the Google Wi-Fi router. When we select Next, the Google Home app will attempt to connect to our Google Wi-Fi router. When prompted, we need to select Join. We're now asked if we wish to turn on Wi-Fi router and point usage stats. For this option, we've decided to select No Thanks. When asked if we wish to turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud services, we also decided to choose No Thanks. We're now asked where we would like to position our Google Wi-Fi router. After deciding on the location where we wish to place this Wi-Fi point, we now need to choose Next. Our Google Wi-Fi router is now added to our existing mesh network. This whole process will take roughly one minute to complete. As our Google Wi-Fi router was part of a two-pack, we're now asked if we would like to set up the other device. However, for now, we will select No. The mesh connection between our Google Nest Wi-Fi network and our first generation Google Wi-Fi router are now tested and a status report is generated. When we select Next, we're asked if we wish to receive updates about Google hardware, features, services and offers. For this option, we've once again chosen to select No Thanks. The devices that make up our mesh network are now checked to see if they need any updates. Finally, we are presented with a panel that provides a simple review of our Google Nest Wi-Fi network. Let's select Continue. We now need to move our first generation Google Wi-Fi point to a position in our home that will extend our wireless mesh network. With our Google Wi-Fi point now repositioned and powered up, we need to return to the Google Home app. If we select our first generation Google Wi-Fi point, at the bottom of the panel, we have an option that allows us to run a mesh test. When we select this option, our mesh network is once again tested and the status of our network is reported. 
If you find that your report does not indicate that your mesh connections are great, try moving the Google Wi-Fi point closer to the other Wi-Fi points in your mesh network. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you add a first generation Google Wi-Fi router to our new Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how we configure our Google Nest Wi-Fi network so that people who visit our home are able to use our internet connection but not able to access our home network.